Welcome back to my YouTube channel if you're here for the first time. My name is Anne and in today's video I'm going to show you how I created today's makeup look. Um, today I played with purple and blue and this is the look um, I came up with. Also in today's video I'm going to show you the whole foundation uh, routine as well. I'm not showing this in every video because most of the time I'm using the same foundation, the same concealer. So I feel like it's kind of boring to show the same stuff every time. But in today's video, I'm testing out a new foundation from Colourpop. During the video, you will also like hear my um, thoughts on the foundation if I actually like it. Also, in today's video, I'm doing a giveaway. I want to do like a giveaway in every video just to kind of show you guys like my appreciation for y'all and to give some love back. So for today's video, I'm doing a giveaway on this mascara from The Balm Cosmetics, which is the Scuba Mascara. This is a water-resistant mascara. It's super black. Um, I especially really like to use this for my bottom lashes. It makes them super long. So today, one of you guys can win this. So you're probably wondering, like, what do I have to do in order to win this? You have to follow me on Instagram and, of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you have to comment down below uh, that you're joining um, and put your username down below as well. This way I can check if you're following me. Um, that's the only rule. Um, the giveaway is international, everyone can join. And I will announce the winner in my next upcoming video. Also, I will be trying to do a giveaway in every video. So if you want to have the chance to win some products, make sure to check every video um, if you want to join my giveaways. So that was it. So now let's dive into this video. I hope you guys will enjoy watching. So the first thing I did was priming my eyelids. I did this off camera today because I show it in almost every video. Then I went in with the Morphe 35B eye palette and I'm taking this soft pink color. I'm going to start blending this all over in my crease using a Sigma E40 brush, which is my absolute favorite brush for blending the first transition shade in my crease. So I'm just going back and forth. I went uh, back a few times with this brush into that shade to get like the most color payoff um, on my eye. Then now for the next shade, I'm taking this purple color from Makeup Geek Cosmetics and I'm going to blend this in my crease as well and I'm going to do the same thing, only trying to keep my brush a little bit lower so I'm not going to apply it all over where I just applied the pink. I still want like a little bit of that pink peeking right above it. Okay, now I'm taking this blue shade from Neptune. This is a very unique color. It kind of looks blue, but at the same time, it has kind of a purple undertone. So I'm going to start with pressing this in my out of the area. And then when there isn't that much product left anymore, I'm also going to blend it more towards the middle part and towards the inner corner. And I feel like because this blue shade kind of melts together with the shades, which I have already blended in my crease, it tends turns out more into a different type of color of purple, which I think is really beautiful and unique. Then now I'm taking this palette from Desi Perkins and Katie in collaboration with Dose of Colors. And I haven't used this palette on camera yet, uh, but I'm going to take this blue color right there, which is so beautiful. It's like a blue, but when you kind of switch your face it also looks kind of purple i think this goes really well with today's makeup look so i'm going to press this all over the eyelids using a mac 2 for 2 but already quite early i noticed okay maybe it would be better to use my finger i feel like always using your finger gives like the most color payoff so first i just use my brush and then i'm going in with my finger to make it more like intense
So now I'm going back in with the Neptune eyeshadow from Makeup Geek and I'm going to blend a little bit more of that around the edges because I felt like the metallic blue shade that I just applied on my eyelids is looking quite harsh like I really packed it on the eyelids and I wanted more to be blended around the edges so that's why I went back in with this shade. So now I'm taking this highlighter palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills which I believe is the Dream Glow Kit. And I took that shade um, Unicorn, which is really pretty. I know that palette looked a little bit messy, but that's because I use this shade very often. I really like to use this for in my inner corner. It's such a unique color. And then I went in with the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm taking that light, what is it, like a very white kind of highlighter, which I also love for the inner corner because it really pops. It's a very light color. Also, it has a very cool undertone, but since the shades I used on my eyelid are very on the cool tone side, I think this is really beautiful in combination. So now I'm removing the eyeshadow guards and then I'm going to finish off the rest of my face. So the first thing I did was using the Vitamin Enriched Face Base from Bobbi Brown, which is my absolute favorite face cream ever. I feel like only using this on your face already makes your skin look so beautiful. It really gives it a natural glow and it's also a really nice primer for your foundation. It leaves kind of a layer where your foundation sticks to and it makes it just look flawless and stay in place all day. So for today's video, I'm going to use this new no filter sticks from Colourpop. They send me this as PR. They send me three colors, which I'm going to swatch on my face. Um, I believe one of the colors is 40, one of them is 50, and one of them is 65, if I'm not mistaken. So the first one I'm going to swatch is called 40. And I think this is actually a really beautiful color for my natural face color. But most of the time I use fake tan on my body, so I always want to go for a darker shade for my face. Then here we have the shade 50 which I think has more of a yellow undertone. Um, I think it's really beautiful whenever I go for a foundation. I always use one with more of a yellow undertone. Oh, and then we have the shade 67. Um, and this one is more like a neutral kind of undertone. I feel like this could be like a mixture of the first two shades. It's just really different. Also, I feel like this really matches my neck. So now I'm going to remove those shades. I just wanted to show you like the three shades I got. So maybe if you want to get it, you can get a idea of what the colors look like. So now I'm first going to use a extra primer. This is the Hangover Primer from Too Faced. I can also go directly in with my foundation and apply it on the face cream I used from Bobbi Brown. But I just want to use both of them because I really like them all both. And I think this is a really beautiful combination. So now I'm going to mix the shade 40 and 50. Um, I applied quite a lot. Maybe that wouldn't be that smart. Um, but yeah, first I went in with the shade 40. And then I'm going to apply a few of those stripes on my face in the shade 50 as well. Which I'm doing right now. And then when I start blending the foundation into my skin, those two shades will melt together. And this will give me a more of a warmer color, I guess. Um, I feel like I haven't used fake tan for two weeks now and so my chest isn't that like orangey anymore. I feel like the fake tan I use has quite an orange undertone but in a very natural way if that's possible. Um, so these shades are quite light but I feel like I can really pull them off right now. But I do have to be honest I like more warmer colors on myself. So then I went in with the Tarte Cosmetics Shape Tape Concealer. I'm going to apply quite a lot. I felt like the foundation didn't really blend in nicely into my skin. I really felt like it kind of stayed laying on top of my skin and not really melt into it. But I do have to say during the day I felt like it started looking better and better. The moment I wanted to like remove my makeup I looked in the mirror and I was like oh my god this is looking really pretty. So maybe it's the way I applied it, I don't know, but it looked so much better I like after a few hours. I really like my foundation actually, so I think I will give it another go uh, because I really liked how it looked. So now I I'm going in with another Tarte Cosmetic Shape Tape Concealer, but this one in, in the shade Rich and applying a few dots on my forehead. Now I'm going to start blending everything in using a damp beauty blender. And I'm just going to blend everything in. And I feel like this uh, concealer, because I applied quite a lot, it also kind of changed 
or safe this whole makeup look because I really didn't like the foundation, how it was looking on my skin. But I do really like the concealer, so this kind of made it more looking better, if that makes sense. So now I'm going to use this Ben Nye Super White Powder. This is quite a light powder, but for today's video, since the foundation was lighter than I normally have like my foundation, I wanted to go in with a super light powder to get more of a contrast. And I just wanted to try this powder. I had you I didn't use it for such a long time and I just wanted to see if I still liked it. But I think this is a pretty good powder, but it's super light. But I could pull it off, so that's not a problem. So I just used that same damp beauty blender to apply this underneath the eyes, on the chin, a little bit on my nose, and also on my forehead to lock all the concealer in place. And then I'm going to wipe everything away. I think I left it on my face for around a minute or so. So now I'm going to uh, finish off the rest of my face. I'm going in with this eyeliner which is a gel eyeliner. I'm going to create a simple wing today. I'm not going to show it super in depth, but first created a line above the lash line. And then I went in with the NYX matte liquid liner and I created a wing. So because I used the eyeshadow guards, this was really easy for me to do because I could just follow the line of the eyeshadow guard and create my wing based on that line. And this liquid liner from NYX Cosmetics is one of my favorites. It's super nice. So now for my one line, I'm taking this Inglot pencil, which is a cool pencil. I'm taking it in the shade 01. I'm just going to apply this all over my one line. Also kind of applying it underneath my upper lashes. So kind of tight lining it. I'm not really sure what the name is, but I wanted it to be as black and smoky as possible. Now I'm taking the shade Corrupt from Makeup Geek as well. And I'm going to press this underneath the lower lash line, trying to press it as tight as possible towards the lash line and then to blend this out I'm taking that pink shade which I used at the beginning which is a color from the Morphe 35B palette So now I'm taking a purple color which is also from the 35B palette from Morphe and I'm going to use this purple color to blend out the lower lash line even more and this is a pencil brush I believe from Morphe. It's just a very tiny fluffy blending brush which is a perfect size for blending out the lower lash line. So now I'm going back in with the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Fold Palette and I'm taking the shade VIP again. I feel like because I applied my foundation, I kind of applied it on top of my inner corner, which made my inner corner fade a little bit. So just to intensify my inner corner, I went back in with a little bit more of this shade. Also, I made my brush wet to make it even more intense. Now for my lashes, I used these Lash in City lashes from Valor Lashes. And then this is how the eyes look with lashes on. So I am now finished with my eyes and I really like how it turned out. Yesterday I was scrolling through my YouTube channel and I looked at some older videos. And I saw this look that I did like, I think three years ago or something, where I used purple in the crease and blue on the eyelid. And if I can find a picture, I will put it right here so you can see it. And this kind of inspired me to do like a new version because I think over the years my skills have definitely improved. So I kind of wanted to do it over but do it a little bit different but use that same color combination because I think those shades together are just really beautiful. So I now want to quickly give an update on the foundation I used in this video. You guys have seen me applying it. It's the newest Colourpop No Filter Sticks. I mixed two shades together. Um, I do want to quickly mention that I do think the color looks really great. Um, it doesn't feel sticky like normally when I use a foundation stick. Sometimes it feels just really sticky and my skin looks really patchy. Um, I feel like today that's not the case. This is a very matte foundation stick, which I really like. But still, I don't really like how my skin looks. I do feel like it shows 
um, it's more like it lays on top of my skin even though it's dry I feel like it doesn't really blend together with my skin and I did use my favorite primer my favorite uh, face cream my favorite face cream so I don't think that's the problem I think overall I'm just not a fan of foundation sticks but this one is like the best I've tried so far because it's super matte but still will I use it again Probably not, but I just wanted to give you like a heads up to let you know if I like it or not So now for my lips, I'm taking the stripped down lip pencil from MAC Cosmetics My all-time favorite lip pencil if you don't know by now It's just the perfect nude to use in combination with any nude lipstick And then I'm taking the Supernatural liquid lipstick from Dose of Colors Which is one of my absolute favorite liquid lipsticks The color is just so pretty So I do want to use like a lip gloss in combination, but I am first going to let this dry and then after that I'm going in with the Dose of Color Gold Lip Gloss. In the meanwhile, I'm first going to apply my bronzer. I'll be using this bronzer from Makeup Academy in the shade Ultra Bronze. And then now I'm taking the Gold Lip Gloss from Dose of Colors. So my nails look really bad. I literally painted them before I started filming and I let them dry very long. So I don't know. I just need a very nice top coat or anything. So if you guys know any nice top coat that works well for you, please comment down below. Because every time I feel so weird while filming when one of my nails is chapped, I just feel like you guys probably think like what is wrong with her. Uh, but if you know like a top coat that at least like last for two days i will be already very happy so please let me know i'm now going to apply the lip gloss which is so pretty i think whenever i do a look like this using a lot of colors i always like to use like a color like this on the lips which is super natural but still kind of glam I really like the combination. So now I'm going in with the Dose of Colors Fuego Highlighter, one of my absolute favorites. And I'm taking the Morphe and Jacqueline Nail G806 brush, which um, as I have mentioned in my previous video as well, it's quite a big brush, but it just applies the highlighter really beautiful, just really soft. So this is how it looks when you only use like that big fluffy brush, which I think makes it look really beautiful, like it really blends into the skin. But today I want it to be a little bit more dramatic, so I'm taking the MAC Fix Blush Spray using a Morphe R36 brush and making it wet. And then I'm going to apply a little bit more of that just in the center. And then now for my last step, I'm taking this Rose Gold Blush Duo from Jouer Cosmetics, dipping my brush in both of these shades and blending this on the apples of my cheeks. Okay, and then here you have the finished result. I really hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy. This is really helpful for my YouTube channel. Also, if you have any requests for my next upcoming videos on what kind of colors you want me to do, or if you want me to do more neutral looks or more smoky eyes, then please let me know in the comments so I know what you guys want to see. And yeah, of course, also don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. And hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! Tell you, tell you, tell you.